This is string 1 without 2. Given a substring, if the length 2 substring appears at both its beginning and its end, return a substring without the substring at the beginning. So H E L L O H E yields L L O H E. The substring may overlap with itself, so H I yields blank, null. Otherwise, return the original string unchanged. So let's go over the sample cases. So first there is hello H E, um, H E, H E are equal. Therefore, if we return its first uh, instance, so like a beginning, um, yeah, it's beginning, and then that yields L L O H E. Here, the first uh, length two substring, H E, and the length two substring at the end, H I, are not equal to each other. Therefore, we leave it leave it as it is. Next, we have H I. The length two substring in the beginning is H I. The length two substring in the end is also H I. Therefore, they are both equal, and we return null. So, how do we do this? So, first, let's go over the base cases. So, if the length of the string is less than or equal to one, then we can safely return. Um, the string unchanged. This is because a length to substring cannot appear at its end or its beginning, so we can assume that a string of length less than one, sorry, a less than two, will not have a length to substring appearing at both its end and its beginning. Next, if the length of the substring is two, then we can always return nothing. This is because a, a string of length two will always have the length to substring at the beginning and its end be the same because it is only length 2. Now, the actual part. So this is for all strings with length greater than 2. So for this, we first check if the substring of the fir uh, first length 2 substring in the beginning is equal to the length 2 substring at the end. Like so. Like so. The reason why this works, so when we do this, it goes to 0, 1, and stops at 2. So the first length 2 substring in the beginning is obviously just um, the characters at indexes 0 and 1. Here, we look at the um, length minus 2 all the way to the end. So for here, we know it's all the way to the end. The reason why this works is because, the, if, if for example, if we have a string like so, this is indexed like so, so 0, 1, 2, 3. The length is obviously 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. The character at index 2 is 0, 1, 2, here. From here all the way on is C, D. So if this is true, then we return um, the string without the first two characters, like so. If else, we just return the string on one part. And there it is.